Hey, oh, my fantastic, numismatic, artistic friends and coin collectors. Well, that's a mouthful. We're going to do a painting today, my uh, my fantastic friends. And it's a painting I've never done before. So on this canvas, big white canvas, and I've put a little key up here in the top corner of certain colours because we're going to paint a rainbow for, for the NHS. And all over this canvas, I've painted it in a bit of liquid white. So... And I've, I've put a border on and I've masked the border off. So let's let's rock and roll. Let's get on with it. And I'll try and answer some questions as we go along from, from the giveaway that I've got up and running. So first things first, let's start off with a nice pretty little sky. Let's put some let's put some blue in there. Now this is Prussian blue. It's a little bit darker and a bit, a bit more moodier than Thalo blue. And with this Prussian blue, we're going to give a, like a, a crazy sky because we're going to have a big rainbow in that sky. And this rainbow, I've never, ever, ever, ever painted a rainbow before. So this is the first time you've seen it. First time today that the master has painted a rainbow. So with that same colours on the brush, let's put some water down in the bottom. Don't know where the water's going to be. We're just painting all from a little bit of an imagination. A little bit of imagination. And of course, we'll pull from the outside in. And that will give a nice little shimmer along the bottom of the water. And what we can do now, get a get a cleaner brush, a drier brush, a bit bigger brush, and let's just blend all this sky and we'll blend all the water together. As we're doing that, let me an answer a question from Carrot Collects. Good old Carrot Collects. Is there anything I can't do apart from editing? Well, I can't fly. Um, I'm not a good flyer. Um, I'm not bad at running sometimes, but I can't. I'm swimming, I can swim, but I'm, I can't fly. <laughs> I'll play the piano. <laughs> but uh, but um, I, I'm pretty determined to, to do anything I can set my mind to. So uh, uh, if I set my mind to doing something, I try and succeed. And if if I can't do it, I, I try try to avoid things like washing the pots. I'm not very good at washing the pots. <laughs> Right, so, um, okay, let's get on with this. This is the, the cloud. So picking out a few clouds with a bit of a fan brush and just pure white on the fan brush. And with what's happened in the world, I wanted to give something back. So I thought I'd create a nice, a nice painting and donate it to the, to the NHS, the National Health Service. So this means a little bit of something more, more to me and, uh, and, I, I, well, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. So let's let's blend out these clouds with a dry brush, just the base, just the base of the the clouds. So we, remember, we put on the clouds white paint, just tickle the base out, and just lightly fluff up. That's all we're doing, and you can do this as many times as you want. Let's give it another one. So a bit more white paint. Just flat titanium white paint. And we're using the corner of the fan brush. And we're just pushing in some fluffy, cloudy looking things. Some fluffy, cloudy looking things. You get, get me head out of the way. Again, with a dry brush now. Just the bottom. Just the bottom. Because we've got liquid white all over the canvas. It makes it 100 times more easier to blend colour on the canvas. And than we would do if it was a, a dry canvas. Now let's go back to the, the key. We've got several colours, the colours of a rainbow. So the first colour is red. And let's just paint a big red arc like we've done. That's all we're going to do. And again, we don't have to be perfect in this. It's a painting, remember. If you want perfection, I've always said go look at uh, a photograph. But a just big sweep of, of red. And then we'll work down this key. So what's next? What's next? Are we singing the are we singing the poem? Red and yellow. <laughs> Pink and green. <laughs> so come in with yellow there, just below that. And we're put applying a lot of paint. A lot of paint there. Now, as I'm painting these colours in, let's uh, let's take another question from Martin Wilson. 
Have I considered designing a coin and submitting it to the Royal Mint? I've never, ever thought about doing that, Martin. Um, it's something I'm, I might do. I, I wouldn't even know how to do it, to be honest. But um, it, if I could, I, I'd definitely give it a go. Um, why not? Why not? Why not? I'd, I'd, I'd absolutely adore a coin to be man, manufactured at the Royal Mint and, and put out into circulation. And, and that that would be great stuff, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be great stuff. I might look into that. I don't know how you would do it. I don't know how you would go about it. But uh, who knows? Who who dares wins, I suppose. Great. So with this colour, so just under the yellow, we're putting in a bit of a bit of green. Now this green is a thalo green. It's it's like a an emerald colour. It's it's almost fluorescent when you mix it with yellows. And the next one down. Red and yellow. Pink, green, oh, I don't know, I don't know. What have we got? Blues, blues and purples are next. Blues and purples. So this is, this is uh, thalo blue. And we're just painting that just below the green. And I know it looks a little bit childish at the moment, but it it won't do. It won't do. If you've seen the picture on the uh, on the intro on the on the, on the thumbnail, you, you'll understand. But how we get to that stage is is see. I've made a bit of a mistake here. I've put black. I've <laughs> have it black, and I, I'll show you all these colours: browns. Blacks, blues, they all they all appear really dark on the canvas. Yeah, I've done it again. I've picked up brown instead of uh, instead of the purple that I want. So clean the old brush and let's let's do it right. If we're gonna do out, we're gonna have to do it right, aren't we? So here we go. A bit of purple. Now you can mix this purple with thalo blue and a lens and crimson, or you can just buy a tube of purple. There we go. Just like that. And I think we'll have some sort of mountains here or something in the in the foreground just to push that that back. I don't, I don't at the time I'm making this don't know what I'm doing. So a dry brush and we're just going to follow that sweeping action that our rainbow creates and we should start to slowly blend all this together. So keep the brush in the same plane all the time. Don't be turning it upside down and don't be tapping or, or anything. It's just a sweeping action. And we're just going to continuously do this till we get the desired blendingness, blendiness that we that we that we require. Now, as I'm doing this, let's let's give another question from Robin G W. Favorite coin? My favorite coin. I've got several favorite coins. Um, I think Taekwondo Olympics is one of my favorite coins because it's the first coin that I've ever I ever kept. Um, I've got a soft spot for Flopsy Bunny. Um, just to, before I finish answering this question, I've just hit a bit of white. I, I want to dull this down somewhat i want to dull the um the rainbow down just to push it into the painting so if we come over this with white the colors are so vibrant underneath we'll get an absolutely lovely blend of colors and we'll just keep doing that so back to the question favorite coin i Two pounds. I really do love the Great Fire of London and the Magna Carta. There's there's some sort of epic historical coins with epic references. Um, I don't know the old five pound coin, the five pound coin, which was um, uh, well, it's a crown, isn't it? Uh, air for, uh, full crown. What is it? Uh, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue now. Uh, Jubilee. That is, um, I remember my parents having that in the uh, in in the cabinet 
you know, in a China cabinet on display as a, as a kid. So that that means a little bit of something to me. Um, there's just so many good coins out there. So many good coins out there. If you can hear a little bit of music in the background, you might not be able to, but if you can, me, <laughs> my two boys have picked up a guitar and started playing it. But yeah, so um, I don't know. Taekwondo, 50 pence. Flopsy Bunny, 50 pence. Quite neat coins. Um, Magna Carta. Magna Carta and Fire London. But there's too many. Too many. Look at this. It's like a lollipop. It's like a lollipop. So we'll just keep doing that till we get the desired um, blend of, of of what we're what we're after. Just like that. So we can keep going and going and going. But I think that looks all right. So let's push that rainbow a little bit back. Let's put something in front of it. So we said we'll have some hills and some mountains. So this is a. a the purpley colour. Uh, I think we added a bit more blue into this just to darken it up a little bit more. So so strong the uh, the violet, the purple. One touch of it could eat up everything. And then we just create a nice little line at the top of the painting. That's all we bothered about. Below below that line. We couldn't really we're not really that fussed. We'd, we just pull the paint down like that and it'll get lighter towards the horizon here we go dry brush let's get a dry brush and we just pull the paint down just like so and again it'll pick up that color the, the white color the little bit of blue that we put down there and uh, it'll get lighter and lighter and we can blend it out so it'll have some nice, nice misty areas down at the bottom. Lost a little air there. Usually happens. Usually happens. There we go. Yeah, I wanted to give some back. So I hope, hope this, this, um, this painting is going to sit in the waiting room of a, a local surgery, which. Um, <laughs> which fills me with joy i'm just trying to read the questions we've got one from uh aviation media favorite you kitchen utensil <laughs> well favorite kitchen utensil is uh it's got to be the uh the meat tenderizer i suppose the big hammer with that you smash the meat into <laughs> <laughs> it also works uh in, you know if if you're uh, if you're having a game of mini polo outside, you could use the meat tenderizer, I suppose. So what we're doing now, we're just creating the little hills in the foreground, some light little touches up there. This is so simple. This is so simple. Just blend it down to nothing. Blend him down to nothing. Let's work on that a little bit more. So we'll put a touch of a light colour on, not much, it's just, just a bit of white, just to, to add some some highlights. We don't have to go we don't have to go too crazy on this. The main focus is the rainbow. So we don't want to distract too much from that. We can just clean off the brush here down at the bottom of the canvas. Like so, just like that. So, just a little bit of reminder, guys. If if you've not entered the giveaway, the subscriber giveaway, um, there'll be a link somewhere about on this on this video. Please, please go and enter it. Just leave me a question if you can, and I'll answer it on these painting videos, and uh, and then you'll be in with a chance to win a 1994 bunk coin pack you know and it contains a two quid coin the uh, bank of england one and what else does it have it has the d-day coin and an old round pound and uh what else have we got oh we've got a painting the uh i think it's skies on fire painting we did 
which is uh, it's a pretty nice one, pretty bright mountain scene. And uh, oh yeah, there's the there's the the Master Temple tokens, which uh, I'll personally engrave for you. And then there's a sub giveaway, which uh, if you go back to the metalworking penny farthing video, not not the not the watercolor painting, it's the it's the epic movie I think the kids wanted to call it, um, where I make a penny farthing out of some old coins and a, and it's about twenty minutes long of me going mental, hitting stuff with my fists and hammers and you know, uh, and if you leave me a, a comment on uh, on that. In reference to what Caledonia Coins was asking for, um, then, then you're in with a chance of possibly winning another big Master Temple token and a little card, uh, postcard painting that, I, that, that I've, I've yet to do, but I will do it. I will do it. So on this darker foreground, I've just slightly lifted up, and that will look like the indication of hundreds and hundreds of tiny little evergreen trees this is a color i've just mixed i've just added a touch of green into the uh into the purpley mix not much color we don't need much color so strong and then again just blend him out and create a little bit of mist between the next layer that we'll put on there we go, just like that. And if we're going to add some water, before we run out of canvas, we'll put some reflections in. So all we do, pull straight down with some of that dark colour. Straight down. And then we'll uh, we'll blend this into the water. Blend these reflections into the water. The dry brush, make sure it's dry. Just like that. Here we go. Now, Sophie Ashton, uh, she says, if you could only have one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Well, that would have to be steak. Uh, steak, obviously smashed up with the <laughs> with a kitchen utensil from Aviation Media. Uh, but yeah, steak is, a, I absolutely love steak. I could eat it till the cows come home. <laughs> no pun intended there. Right, a little water line with the, uh, on the, right on the edge of the knife so we've got a really thin white paint this is liquid white and we're just cutting a little water line <laughs> <Boo. laughs> good old steak yeah but you can have steak in a sandwich you can have it with chips you can have it with with onions onion rings oh the you can have it in a yorkshire pudding with gravy on oh it's just Steak, got to be steak, got to be steak. Absolutely. Now, if you find these water lines too bright, you can just keep rubbing them away like this, and they should fade back into the background. Just smooth them out a little bit. You could also mix in a little bit of colour into the white paint, just to dull, just to dull that white down. Now. Right, let's take some uh, let's take some green, and this is the old basting. What is it, butter brush or whatever, pastry brush? <laughs> it's not an artist brush, I know that for sure, but it works. And we'll put some foreground material on. So we're just tapping in some mainly sap green. It's got a bit of a brown in there, so it's like a, a, a mucky, dirty, greeny colour. But again, we don't want too much. We just want to give the uh, impression that there's a rainbow far far back there and now uh, we do go straight across the canvas all the way across create some little bushes and shrubs and tiny trees and all that lot down here happy days eh? happy days let's darken the corners up a slight bit so you could hit a bit of blue in there, or a black, or browns. The choice is yours. When you're painting, you can create anything you want. And because it's your painting, you're in charge. So on these uh, 
on these little brushes, bushes, brushes, little trees on these little trees in foreground. They're not trees because um, they're probably in reality only about two foot high, but anyhow, I'm just uh, waffling on. Let's just put some highlights on, on them. So, same dirty old brush, and all I've done is dipped into some yellow paint. I'll hit the yellow paint, and we can vary the colour. Picking out individual, individual shrubs. Uh, very fitting question from Janet Smith here. And uh, she says, have you always been an artist or, have, or is it something you've learnt as you've got older? I've always been a keen, uh, when I was a little boy, I remember drawing a lot as a, as a little kid. I loved colouring books and loved drawing. And uh, of course, growing up in the 80s, there, was, there wasn't, the amount of toys that that young young kids are today, so drawing seemed to be a, 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 a real hobby, you know. Uh, but I never really took a, an interest in that. I failed out at school. I, um, I I failed miserably at my GCSE in art, and and it's only uh, after I finished school or, or at the very end of high school, I just started getting interested in Bob Ross on telly. Um, and I, uh, and, uh, and I just decided to teach myself. I've never had an art lesson. I've never had, uh, you, you know, somebody formally tell me how to paint. I've just picked it up and I've trialled and errored and I've, I've worked and worked and worked at it. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. That's yeah, you, you know. So I, I have, I've learned to. I've, I've probably about twenty five years. I've been doing this. But it's uh, I had a break of about ten years for for personal reasons. Um, I, I didn't go away or anything like that. I don't think I was naughty or all like that, folks. No, definitely not. No, no. Life gets in the way when you when you have kids and stuff, and and uh, and, and you have to do lots and lots of hours at work. You just don't find time for hobbies, and uh, and then another hobby comes along like martial arts and taekwondo and, and and that takes over and painting and arts get put on the back burner and and yeah you know how it goes you know how it goes folks so into the sides we're going to put a tree um and a, a nice and a, a nice little evergreen tree a, we'll have like a spruce tree i think there's the spruce is where the the the, the limbs the leaves go upwards and evergreen trees are, are generally darker than 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 the normal like deciduous trees. And that again that will set the eye off into the center because we really want the eye to wander straight into the center of the painting. See that big rainbow and the nice hills just underneath it. So we'll put a couple of these evergreen trees. I really love paintings like this. So easy. A lot of my paintings are this sort of style. The object in the middle. And it's encased with a couple of trees either side. An odd number. Always try and get to an odd number if you can. It's not always possible. I, I, I give you that. But we can try and, and get an odd number. Just makes your eye a little bit more pleased. So yeah, so on these, uh, this is a filbert brush I'm actually using to achieve these uh, these evergreen trees. Usually we do these with fan brushes, but I just decided to pick up the filbert today with a dark greeny colour. Now let's cut in a little trunk. We've painted the far end of the, the trees now, so let's cut paint the middle so it's a little bit of a trunk. So we can just run a bit of brown paint on the edge of the knife right up the tree. And we can make it an intermittent tree trunk because obviously leaves and branches will get in the way. Just like that. Happy days. And then we can come through with some highlights. We've got Darren Cheshire and Rich H. Both want to know the same sort of question. and uh, It's when did you start martial arts and what made you choose Taekwondo? Right, so I started martial arts... I remember going in the eighties when I was a young boy. All my friends did uh, did martial arts, uh, and my parents they they too did did taekwondo uh, back in the eighties. 
and I went and I did a few few sessions with with the the instructor and I, this hurts too much. It really it really hurt a lot, you know. <laughs> that it's not for me. I I go draw or something like that, and uh, I, I I left it alone and I returned back to it with that with the same martial arts instructor. Uh, the, the same martial arts instructor um, about uh, 15, 16, 17 years ago, I suppose. Uh, you know, in the mid 20s, I suppose it was. I can't really remember offhand. And I've been doing it every week since then. Of course, with recent situation, I haven't been to the, to the sports centre, but. Yeah, and what made me choose uh, Taekwondo? Well, um, my my parents, well, my, back, my dad is a black belt. Um, my brother's a black belt. Uh, my mum's a blue belt in Taekwondo. And uh, obviously all my sons now, uh, my sons and, uh, and my little girl, my daughter, they're black belts as well. So um, I think family influence really, more than anything. Yeah. It's a great sport, great hobby, keeps you fit, keeps you active. And I've, I've learnt now not to get hurt, so... <laughs> yeah, which is quite quite a bit of a bruisey bonus. Definitely a bruisey bonus. Now, while I've been waffling on, I've just been putting some highlights on these uh, these sprucey trees. Now, uh, not much, you don't want... You don't want to overpower the painting, so just a few few little highlights here and there and there and here and let's finish off these these little shrubs down at the base of these trees push them into the uh, into the painting there we go maybe put a little bit more of a touch of an eye like there just like that don't want to don't want to overdo don't want to really Don't want to dis distract your eye. I can't, I can't even say it now. Distract your eye from the centre. Right now, uh, Will Snell uh, wants to know what was your main career in life, and is your engineering talent from your line of work? Uh, yes, I studied engineering at college. Uh, went on and did a lot of engineering stuff in my uh, in my life, um, and yeah, yeah, still work in engineering. In what discipline I uh, I'd rather not say at this moment in time, but uh, but yeah, I'm still still heavily involved in engineering, which is and, and it's quite good. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I enjoy the the graft, shall we say? And I've been doing that all my life. When I was work experience as a kid, um, I I I went to to an engineering little local engineering firm and did my work experience there and I remember the smells and sounds and sights thought this is absolutely awesome awesome stuff right I think we're about finished so let's sign this little painting right down at the bottom so a really thin paint of red and paint thinner mixed together and we'll just initial him down here of course I'll sign the back I'll sign the back so thanks for all your questions. I will keep answering them. I'll endeavour to answer them all. So let's get rid of all this masking tape. Big brush time. Whoop. Boom. There we go, folks. Finished. Finished. So this will hang in the local NHS surgery, and uh, and I, I think it's I think it's great. I think it's giving something back to them. I really. I really hope you enjoy it and enter the giveaway. Till next time, my fantastic friends. I'll see you all later. And as always, happy days.